Welcome. This is Pete at Hawkswilder, and today I'm going to show you how to get PS4 Remote Play working under Windows 10 with a wireless DualShock 4 controller. So let's do it. While there are unofficial ways to get the controller working wirelessly, there are risks. If you update the PS4, for example, then it may stop working. So what I'm going to show you here is how to get it working with the official Sony wireless adapter. Now, what made me laugh when I first saw this, uh, this product was the price. I think they were trying to sell it for upwards of $100, which is ridiculous. This thing should be about 20 max. Um, <coughs> also, it seems to be a bit hard to find at the moment. Uh, let's have a quick look. So if I uh, go to the official PlayStation website and just have a look for the uh, DualShock 4 USB wireless adapter. Both of these guys seem to show as unavailable. Um, however, if I go over to eBay, I'll do a quick search. There, there we go. So it can be picked up for 45, 50 pounds, probably about the same in dollars. Okay, so you're looking at around $50. So it's not a cheap purchase, but it is going to work as you'll see. I ordered my adapter from eBay. It took around two weeks to arrive from Japan. And uh, this is me unboxing it. It's very exciting. Wow, look at that. It's very interesting. There's a PlayStation logo on it, and you'll see that the whole black section is a switch. We'll see about that later. So now we're going to install the free Remote Play app. So we'll just head over to PlayStation official website. And we'll find the app here. If you're interested, I'm installing this on my Surface Pro 7 using the Bridge 12.3 Pro Plus keyboard, which uh, I did a review for. I'll put a link up above. So we'll download the app and we'll just go ahead and install that. Okay, so now it's installed, we're going to insert the adapter. And not so soon, you've got to wait till it's uh, registered. <laughs> okay, it's now registered, so I can go ahead and press and hold the button until it starts to flash. I can now put the controller into pairing mode by pressing the PlayStation and Option button and holding that until the light flashes. Shortly after it should go solid, which means it's connected to the laptop. We can now start the Remote Play app. I'm now going to sign into the PlayStation Network, but it is a bit of a faff if you have 2FA enabled especially. So please just continue with logging in and then we'll continue.
Okay, so now we can kick off the Remote Play app again. Please make sure you've signed in. Uh, I've got quite a good network, so I'm going to have uh, the best 1080p resolution and high frame rates checked. And now we can kick off the start. What it's going to go now, it's going to ask you to register your PS4. So I'll now go through and start up my PS4, which is in the living room, and I'm going to sign in and I think I'll just kick off a game. So Spider-Man. So as you can see, I'm using a projector in my living room and I'm going to do a video quite soon about my setup. Okay, so just um, kicking off the game so it's ready to go on the remote app. Okay, so now we'll enable remote play. So if we go to settings, remote play connection settings, and make sure that enable remote play checkbox is on. You make sure that the PS4 you want to use for remote play is set up as your primary system. And also if you want your PS4 to wake up uh, remotely when you start the app, then set that in power settings as well. You can now go to add device and it's going to give you a code. You can now return to the remote play app and you can enter the code and you can register your PS4. At which point it should hopefully connect. And you'll see a few options on the bottom, so you can make that full screen. And then, um, now I'm not sure why I stick on this screen for so long. <laughs> but um, eventually I will kick off the game. Come on, kick off the game. Okay, thanks. Excellent, you're now fully up and running on Windows 10 when there was only one with set of your remote That's DualShock what I you 4 uh, and your PS4 working perfectly with very low latency, hopefully. If you've made it this far in the video then I really admire your perseverance, so well done. I'm just starting out so anything you could do to help would be greatly appreciated, so if you can uh, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell so it can let you know about future videos, uh, like or dislike this video or leave a comment, anything would be great. Okay, uh, thanks very much for watching, hope it was useful, have a great day, bye.